All right, welcome back here. In the last video, we ended up here where we were uh, showing our tweets off and the replies to those tweets. Now, what we don't have right now is a way to reply to a reply. So we're gonna add that in this video. So let's get into it. All right, so open up uh, your back end into your schema.prisma right now. And we are gonna add one thing. So come down below here. And in here, we are gonna add a comments. And that is gonna be of type comment. So we're gonna call basically recursively ourselves there. And then that is gonna be an array. So a comment can have many comments basically. And then we're gonna go ahead and save that. And uh, due to the magic of Prisma here, it's gonna add these fields for us and handle uh, the relations for us. So if it uh, doesn't do that for you, make sure you add uh, these two as well. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Let's uh, come over to our uh, comment.ts. Okay, and then inside here, we're gonna wanna add a couple more things too. So we're gonna go t.model. And we're gonna say comment and call that. And then we are gonna say uh, t.model. Dot, um, comment uh, ID. Now, what we did not do is uh, actually migrate our schema up. So let's go and do that as well. So come over here, open up a new window. Let's give ourselves a little room here and uh, CD into your server. Make sure you're in that folder. And then we're gonna go MPX, uh, Prisma, migrate, and we are gonna say save first and dash dash experimental. Okay, and then we're gonna name our uh, migration. So we're gonna say comment, uh, what are we gonna say, reply, we'll call it. Okay, so that looks like it worked good. And then we're gonna do the same thing as always. This should uh, get pretty repetitive for you at this point. We've done it quite a bit. Uh, and we're gonna say uh, migrate up. All right, that is looking good. Now we've added to the comment this. Uh, now we're gonna wanna generate our schema here. So actually get back into your server folder and we're gonna go MPX uh, Prisma uh, generate. Okay, and then it looks like our errors are gone. So that is good and we can exit out of that. Now we have our server running over here and if there's changes, you usually have to restart. So we'll do that. Okay, and that is looking good. Now the final thing we wanna do in our backend is in our mutation folder or file rather. So come into your types mutation and let's uh, get rid of this real quick. And we are gonna want to add a create reply. So it's gonna be almost identical to this. So come over here and we can just copy this down. Okay, and then come down here. And instead of create comment, we are gonna say uh, create a reply. Okay, and it's gonna be of the comment type, so that is good. We're still gonna have our content. Uh, we are still gonna have our ID like this, but we are also gonna add a comment ID and that's gonna be an int array or an int arg rather. Okay, and then we can call that. And for us, yeah, I guess that'll be nullable false as well. So have a little array here and say nullable and that is going to be false. Actually, I think it might be nullable for us. So for now, we'll just leave it. Okay, so that is good. Make sure you have a comma after this. Then we're going to have our content, our ID, and then that comment ID. So add that down below. And we're going to go prisma.comment create still. And this can all stay the same. And then here we're going to say comment because we're going to attach it to another comment. And we're going to say connect and we're gonna connect it by its ID. And again, go number and then comment ID. Okay, so go ahead and save that. So this is what the full thing looks like. Okay, so we're passing in our different arguments right here and then we're creating uh, and then our data is gonna be attaching all these things basically.
All right, so that looks good. Let's move ahead to our uh, front end here. All right, so we're in our web folder now, and we want to come in and we want to go into our components, and we're going to say create a file, and we are going to say uh, create a reply dot tsx, and then inside our create reply is going to be almost identical to our create comment here. So let's come into our create comment. Uh, highlight everything here and we are going to copy it over and paste it in here. Okay, so that looks good. Now, let's just uh, start changing things over a little bit here. So we can just start up at the top here and instead of uh, create comment, we're going to say create uh, reply mutation. So that changes that. Uh, create reply is going to be here and here. Okay, make sure we spell those right. Don't forget the E. Okay, so that looks good. This, uh, These are gonna be the same and then we're just gonna add on to it. So let's go here and we'll say dollar sign comment ID. Okay, and then that is gonna be of type int. And then down here, we are gonna say uh, comment ID and that is gonna be dollar sign comment ID. Okay, those look great. Uh, this can stay the same. All these can stay the same. Uh, we are not going to have the tweet here, so we can get rid of this. We're going to have name, avatar, ID, and then two more things. So we're also going to pass in a comment, and that's going to be a string. And then we are going to say uh, comment ID, and that's going to be a number. All right, those look pretty good. Now we're gonna, this says create comment. Obviously we want to say create reply. Okay, and then this is gonna be create a reply mutation. Paste that in. And then we're gonna wanna pass in some different props here. So we don't actually need the tweet here. So we can uh, get rid of that. And we're going to say avatar and name still. We're still going to have the ID. And then we're going to also have a comment and a comment ID. So those are what we want to add. That'll handle our props. So that looks pretty good. Now we're going to have to add a refetch query and a different one here. So we're going to comma here and we are going to go query. Okay. And then we are going to our tweet query and that's going to come from single tweet. And then we're gonna go comma because we gotta pass in the actual ID of the tweet that we want. So we're gonna do that by going variables and we are gonna pass in the ID, which we are bringing in as props here. And that will get our specific, well, this will be used to get our specific uh, tweet query that we would like. Okay, so looking pretty good so far. All this can kind of stay the same. It's basically identical or not basically, it is identical. And then we wanna come down here and instead of tweet, we want to say comment. And then come down here again. And we want to uh, pass in one more thing here, which is our comment ID. And that's what we're going to attach to other comments. So go ahead and save that. I think that is all we need to do for that. So looking pretty good right now. So let's move on over to our single tweet. So bring that up, single tweet.tsx right there. And we are gonna bring this in below our comments.content, which is where? So right below here. All right, so come in here and we are gonna say uh, create reply and we can auto import that and then uh, close that off there. Now, if we hover over here, you can see uh, that we are missing the types uh, name, avatar, ID. So we gotta bring all those things in. So the first one's gonna be name and that is gonna be equal to comment.user.name. Second one is gonna be avatar. That's gonna be equal to comment.user.profile.avatar. Okay, the third one is gonna be what? It's gonna be ID, and that is gonna be equal to data.tweet.id. 
So that's gonna be the actual ID of the tweet. And then we're gonna have comment, which is gonna be the actual comment. So we'll say comment.content is what that's gonna be, okay? And then finally, we are gonna have the actual comment ID that we're gonna pass in. So that's comment ID, and that is gonna be equal to comment.id. And make sure we close that off there. So go ahead and save that, and uh, yeah, that should uh, work for us. So let's uh, come back over and see how that works. All right, so as you can see, uh, not the best, we need a little margin here maybe, but uh, we can add that in a minute, but we uh, are able to open this up and uh, reply to this comment. Now let's see if this works, and it does. So that is looking pretty good, I think. Uh, we can reply to our replies, and we have our refetch, so it shows up right away. All right, so I think that's gonna be it for uh, this video. You might wanna go ahead and add a little margin. Uh, we might do that in the spare time. But uh, we're getting down to it. There's not a ton of uh, more stuff we wanna do, but I would say we wanna add the ability to add followers. So follow and unfollow, uh, that sort of thing. So I guess that might be one of our last videos uh, and we'll do that in the next one. So thanks for watching and I'll see you then.